guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tatum Tamia Iomi K I am the CEO of Anchored Media and the host of the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast in today's video I want to talk to you guys about a way of thinking that motherhood really pushed me into that has been very very beneficial for me I've been very vocal about just when I became a mom how things became very chaotic in my head just of whoa how am I going to can like maintain all of these things God has blessed me with and it led to a lot of frustration and beating myself up and overthinking and guilt all of these different things but something that has really really given me a lot of peace of mind and really improved my efficiency was understanding that my purpose or my assignment in business is still a job it may sound simple but hear me out because you're a lot of times because we're doing a thing that God calls us to do we make it seem as if we're not 100% in the middle of that thing 24 7 and somehow we're not showing up to do what God has called us to do I hope I'm making sense there and that way of thinking is what led to my mind being all over the place and me being frustrated and really trying to pursue balance which i've told you guys all the time that i feel like it's just something we need to, a concept we need to throw away and focus on efficiency but it had led to trying to figure out how to juggle and i didn't need to figure out how to juggle i needed to figure out how to be efficient across the board and so that mindset shift of my purpose being a job was really integral to my peace and so what I mean by that is when it comes to business, God has called me to do great things in business. Yes, but he's also blessed me to be a family woman, a wife, a mom. Uh, Proverbs says that uh, a wise woman builds up her home and uh, a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. The Bible says that we're supposed to train up a child and the way that they're supposed to go so that they don't depart from it. And so my first obligation definitely before business is to my family, but the way I had to make it all fit was looking at my purpose in the business arena as a job. So when it comes to my business, I show up and I make sure that I'm setting that business up in a very structured and efficient way so that even if I am not there, it's still running and still accomplishing what God has called it to accomplish. It's still being successful and making impact in all of those things. So if the business is, is chaotic and it requires me to show up in order for it to move, then I'm not doing my job as the executive of that company and that's why on this this channel i want to talk so much about the executive life because as, as women if we work on efficiency in the home and efficiency in the the business then we'll really be able to have a level of freedom in what we are saying that we want when we pursue this whole thing of work-life balance and all of that so when it came to my business i needed to look at the details of our process our hiring process who's going to work for this company what systems are we using what's the big picture for it and not only what's the big picture vision but what are the details that we're going to act out on a day-to-day -day basis to move that vision forward there's so much work as an executive that needs to happen to build an efficient company and so for me just looking at my business as a job allowed me to really define my role in that space um especially because with the whole merging faith and business thing for a while it it confused me on how if god is the ceo then what do i do to be honest that's what was the the question mark for me for a while and what i realized is, is my goal or my job to show up as the executive to make sure that what god is telling me to do it's done in the most effective way in the most impactful way so that his will could be done in that area and so by making sure i zeroed in on this ex executive role that has really helped me to build out details of my company that otherwise I, I would have overlooked and I feel like a lot of people don't talk enough about this we hear a lot of conversations about like 
building your offer, your, uh, your increase in sales and marketing and all of these things, but that executive work matters. <laughs> that it it really matters otherwise you're going to live and die by the next offer as opposed to setting up the details where your money multiplies itself where your offers come in on it they're on their own like it's so much <laughs> that goes into running and building a company and so for me i was ta i was taking so much of the purpose personal and I didn't need to make it personal. I needed to look at it as a job. So when a problem arises, it's not time for me to fold or be upset and cry. It's time for me to solve the problem and detach the emotions from it, so to speak, to where I'm not bringing that stress home. And sometimes it's inevitable because when you care, you care, right? But at the same time, just that slight mindset shift has truly, truly helped me. And then even bringing it back into the home. I was listening to Adele's album. Great album. Can't listen to it consistently because, man, who has time for all those emotions? But, um, <laughs> but I was listening to Adele's album and she talked about uh, one episode or not episode, one song like with her son and how, how she was around but she wasn't present. It was like she was a ghost. And I remember thinking like, whew, I would be hurt if, I, you know, said all of this about building a brand online is giving me freedom to be with my family. But my son was like, I mean, yeah, I seen you, but I ain't see you. You were around, but you weren't present. And so even looking then again, that shift of my, my purpose really being a, a job. When I'm at home, I have to disconnect from that. So yeah, I have a nanny, but she, when she leaves at 430, and so the benefit of having childcare, um, especially in the sense of having a nanny, is that my child is home. And when I work from home, we're all in the house together so he sees me as opposed to dropping him off somewhere else and then not going with, knowing what's going on and all of that. Like I, I'm able to have a lot more control over um, what's happening. I'm able to be around him more. We're able to interact during the day while I'm also able to get work done and things like that. So it's just super beneficial for me to still be with him and have the freedom to work. But with that, when she, uh, some boundaries that I had to create is that when she's gone at 430, my computer gets closed. No matter what, my computer gets closed. And even if I'm at home and let's say I have a meeting, they have to be done. I'll give it I'll sometimes let them even go to maybe like five, but the computer gets closed because I don't want to just be sitting there on my computer and my son is running around entertaining himself or watching videos on YouTube and things like that. I want to be present. And so that, that forced me just making that shift of looking at my purpose as a job, looking at in the house household is my job to build up my house and not tear it down with my own hands. Looking at my child and understanding it is my job to train him up in the way that he should go so that he don't depart from it. It made me realize the importance of modeled behavior. And what do I want to model for my son? What, when I have other children, what do I want to model for my daughters? I want my daughters to see a mom who's going out and making impact and they don't even know I'm doing all of that because all they know is I'm at home and I'm spending time with them and I'm cooking and we're doing things together. I want them to not even have a clue what I do. I cannot wait to the day that I'm, I'm praying because this is going to be my measure of success. If my son asks me if I have a job, that would be phenomenal if he would be like mom do you work or my mom doesn't work or if he says something like that I'm like yes he thinks that I don't have anything else going on <laughs> then that would be like my measure of success but anyway like just looking at understanding that I want to model for my family I want to model for um, even other women it may, it forced me into that or that thought process of looking at my purpose as a job really forced me to be introspective and in figuring out what's going to make life go the smoothest. 
And so again, looking at my, my purpose as my job is to be the executive there, it pushes me to be a lot more efficient. It pushes me to drown out everybody else and what they say entrepreneurship is or what I should be doing. And really just looking at the nitty gritty of what God has for me to do. Really taking that vision he gave me and making it plain through structure, through systems, through strategic planning, through all of those things so that I am effective over here. But I'm also able to be effective here as in terms of in my household, if that makes sense. And so I, I, I believe that one of the biggest lessons, even with all of this, I'm just taking y'all through the things that go on in my mind and, and really want to open up this dialogue for other moms who are also business owners. I believe it's something to be said about being introspective about Instead of it, because as solution oriented people, it's very easy for us to go straight to finding something to solve our problem. But I believe there's something to be said of looking at the problem or the disconnect of what's going on that you want to fix. And instead of going straight to solve it externally, to look internally to figure out, okay, how can I solve my problem with what I already have? Even in business, most of the time, you don't need more sales to make more money. You got more money, you just need to figure out where you're budgeting at or how are you spending that can be cut without compromising quality. Um, more money is probably already there as, as, in terms of what's going to truly impact the bottom line. That's already there. You don't have to go out and make more sales and exert more energy. But if you really just look internally, uh, you can find a solution to your problem. And so this, the same concept when it comes to bringing all of these elements to your life together, I would challenge any person as here. If you're figuring out this whole, how am I going to make this all fit thing of the family and the business and all of this, I would suggest you really take a look inward to figure out what do I need to do in order for this to flow better. And so for me, just taking a look inward was stop allowing the pressure of your purpose to crush you, to leave you burnt out, to leave you overworked because your family is a part of why God created you. Your household is a part of that. And beyond delegating out tasks, how do I make sure that, again, I'm training up the child the way he's supposed to go, that I'm modeling in my home the way that uh, a woman of God is supposed to be? How am I going to go into this space and truly be the most effective and efficient with what God is calling me to do in business? So I just wanted to let you guys into my thoughts because, again, I feel like these are conversations that we don't hear too, too often. Um, and I want to get more in detail about the business stuff because I got a lot to say um, and I've learned a lot and done a lot as far as the business stuff goes. But um, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Like it, when you first became a mom and you're a business owner, what, are, what were some of those biggest mindset mindset shifts that you had? Let's, let's talk about it. Tell me in the comments. That's it for this video. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, you hit that notification bell, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see y'all in the next video.